Hello everyone. I am Susan Thesinga. In my background are the mountains of Seven Oaks Pathwork Center, where I have lived and worked for 50 years. The wisdom expressed through the Pathwork Lectures, channeled by Eva Paracas, has profoundly impacted and indeed transformed the lives of thousands of people. I am one of those people. I am happy that the Pathwork Foundation is now offering a truly global conference on these teachings with sharing from those of us whose work and life have attempted to embody these teachings. Like any spiritual path or religious movement, especially those like ours, which are based on a sacred text, there can be different and even divergent readings of that text. So I am especially happy that we are now coming together to celebrate our diversity and our individual expressions of the wisdom of the pathwork as it has come through each one of us. In this way, we're also encouraging all students of this material to do the same. It's what the pathwork guide urged us over and over again. Do not take anyone's word for the truth. Look within and find how and where truth resonates and takes root in your own being. Find your own inner authority, are his words. Or in the words purported to be the last words of the Buddha, be a lamp unto yourself. We are a diverse bunch. We have our individual responses to the material and we owe much gratitude to all of those who have contributed to and expanded our understanding of our shared legacy. Moira and Bert Shaw's contribution of the 50-50 work has been an outstanding contribution. Many others have written and published books based on this material. We need to welcome the diversity of approaches. Some of us have found inspiration from other spiritual paths. Some of us have turned to the new science of neuroscience, of brain development and trauma to help us understand our childhood wounds. Some of us have returned to the religious lineage or traditions of our ancestors and blended these with our path work. All of these explorations are part of our shared quest to come into deeper, more intimate contact with ourselves, and each other, and the world. Some of us have stayed close to the Pathwork sacred texts. Some have unfolded into our teaching the words from other wisdom traditions. Let's welcome all the diverse teachings from, from all of those who have lived the pathwork to the point of embodiment. Over time, this practice leads, as Carolyn Tylove, the founder of the Philadelphia Pathwork, once named it, to becoming a living lecture. This gathering will showcase many who have become living lectures. See what Paul Paquette and his team have done as an expression of the beautiful challenge that Marianne Hubert gave recently in her channeling to the Mid-Atlantic Pathwork. She encouraged us to take Pathwork, in quotes, out of the box. Let the teachings resonate within us and take new forms of expression. 
That's the only way we can become a living path, a transmission that passes from generation to generation and doesn't die with the dwindling number of us old folks who knew Eva in her lifetime. The presenters this weekend are a sampling, but by no means the totality of the many bright lights shining forth from our international community of awakening souls. Let's keep encouraging each of us to go deep into the well of truth and love that lives in us, as us, into the one source from which we spring forth, our shared heart, even though we appear as different individuals. Let's keep the focus in our worldwide community on inclusion and communication. Let's keep the teachings fresh and alive. In this way, the well from which we have drunk so deeply can become a fountain for many more thousands of souls. I encourage you to join us for the online conference November 18 to 21, and to keep going deep into the well within yourself, knowing that this is the same well from which the Pathwork Lectures themselves emerged. Thank you, and I hope to see you in November. <laughs>